a short divine revelation from our loving Savior Jesus Christ to His Church. July 15, 2020 Sister Happiness A. Bangby This revelation was given to one of the prayer warriors in our ministry, as a reminder of what the Lord has shown us about the dreadful things that will take place after the rapture. The Divine Revelations which I posted on June 13 and June 23, 2020 respectively, shed more light on the horrific things the Antichrist will do to those who will take his mark. Although this one is shorter in length, the Lord told me share it. Glory be to his wonderful name. The Lord showed me what will happen to those who took the chip after the rapture has taken place. I saw many demons, beating and torturing those who took the chip. They tore them open and ate their flesh. Dangerous ants, also came up and were eating the flesh of those who took the chip. Then the Lord said. Those who take the chip will suffer greatly than those who reject it. Let him who has an ear hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. The Lord has warned again and again about the danger of taking the Rufid microchip, because it's the mark of the beast. The Great Tribulation will be orchestrated by the devil and the beast, and not the Lord. The Great Tribulation will be orchestrated by Satan and the beast against the believers, in their bid to pressure genuine Christians to accept the mark of the beast. Refusal of true Christians to accept the mark of the beast is what will trigger the outbreak of the Great Tribulation. The devil in collaboration with the beast will unleash great terrors on the children of God who refused to accept the chip in their hand or forehead. Revelation 13, NET 7 The beast was permitted to go to war against the saints and conquer them. He was given ruling authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. This war against the saints is not the wrath of God. It is brought about by the beast with God, as permission. Superscript 1-6 He also caused everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to obtain a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. Superscript 1-7 Thus no one was allowed to buy or sell things unless he bore the mark of the beast, that is, his name or his number. Superscript 1-8 This calls for wisdom, let the one who has insight calculate the beast's number, for it is man's number, and his number is 666. Christians who refused to comply with the new normal satanic new world order headed by the beast will be severely dwelt with. The beast system is here and is being wrapped up very fast. Starvation, lack of the niceties you used to enjoy, arrest, torture, imprisonment and in some cases death await those who will faithfully hold on to the Lord and refuse to be chipped with the mark of the beast, come what may. Those who take the chip will suffer greatly more than those who reject it. The Great Tribulation will bring untold sufferings for believers who refused to accept the chip, which is the mark of the beast. No doubt about that, but a more terrible nightmare awaits those who accept the chip in their forehead or hand after the saints are raptured. After the rapture, it will be pure hell on earth. As the Lord has previously warned us, the beast will have access to all those who take the chip and will be able to remote control them. You will be like zombie if you take the chip. You will be half human, half machine, a cyborg. The beast will totally control your thinking mentally. He will make you do abominable things, such as committing mass sexual perversions, killing your own children, stabbing and injuring yourself. In one of the previous revelation, the Lord revealed some of these unspeakable horror. Men were drinking their wives, as menstrual blood, some people were reading feces, some were walking about naked, some were eating grass like animals. These are just a few of the calamities and woes which will befall those who take the chip. Accepting the chip is one of the worst thing that can ever happen to anyone. The wrath of God is not the great tribulation. The wrath of God is orchestrated by God and he is going to pour IT on those who take the mark of the beast, and not on faithful Christians. In addition to the innumerable sufferings which those who take the chip will go through, in the hands of the devil, the beast and his demons, the Lord himself will pour out his wrath on all those who accept the mark of the beast. At this time, the saints are no longer on earth. The Lord has prepared seven angels and seven bowls or vials full of the wrath of God to be poured on those who worship the beast and accept his mark on their forehead or hand. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials full of the wrath of God, who liveth for ever and ever. 
Revelation 15 7, KJV. Revelation 16, KJV. Superscript 1 And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways, and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. Squared and the first went, and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell an noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Superscript 1 0 And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain. As you can see, the wrath of God is orchestrated by God, and not the devil or the beast. It is a punishment from God upon those who worship the image of the beast and those who accept his mark in their bodies, as well as the beast and his government. Believers who faithfully reject the mark of the beast, will not experience of God's wrath. They will neither be tortured by demons nor by the terrible plagues resulting from the outpouring of the wrath of God. You can escape this great tragic experience, that's the wrath of God by making up your mind that on no account will you accept the mark of the beast which is the chip. It is absurd and truly regrettable to hear believers say we are not appointed to wrath. Therefore Christians will not go through the great tribulation. It is true that we are not appointed to wrath. But the great tribulation is not the wrath of God. Some even go further to say that the great tribulation and wrath of God are one and the same thing. This is simply not correct. As you can see in Revelation 13 7, 16 to 18, it's the beast who will make war with the saints and overcome them. He will then go on and insist that everyone should receive his mark, this is what the chip is all about, otherwise you won't be allowed to buy and sell. It's not God, but the beast working hand in hand with the devil and the false prophet who will bring about this chaos. This is not the wrath of God spoken of in Revelation 15 7 and the entire Revelation 16. The Great Tribulation will take place before rapture. Let us be wise to the time we are living in. While the enemy is working round the clock, the church is sleeping. Many are still held bound by the theology of rapture before the Great Tribulation. Please wake up to the reality of the fact that the Great Tribulation will precede the rapture. Otherwise you will receive the chip in your hand or forehead, thinking that you are receiving a piece of the newest technological innovation. Just a 5G tech. But that's a great deception from the pit of hell. Let it be known to you that the Rafid microchip is the mark of the beast. Don't take it. The horror which will befall those who accept it, is better imagined than experienced. Gullible Christians will take the chip. Many will be so unprepared and out of sheer confusion, they will accept the chip because someone said it's okay to do so. Others, it's their father and the Lord who doesn't want to upset the teeming population of his congregation. So he will sweet talk them to disbelieve the fact that the great tribulation will precede the rapture. He will assure them that Jesus is too loving to stand by and watch them suffer such terrible things. Meanwhile, it's the same Jesus who stood at the right hand of the Father watching from heaven as the maddening crowd pelted Stephen with stones, until he died. And he welcomed him home. It's the same Jesus who permitted King Herod to kill James one of his closet apostle, by the sword. He welcomed him home. The list goes on. When many believers see Daddy and Mummy Geo with a chip in their hands, telling them that it's okay to accept it, they won't hesitate at all to take it. Many will say if Daddy G.O. says it's okay, then it's okay. It reminds me of a Christian conference I attended a couple of years ago outside my home country. Out of the nations represented, I was the only sister who did not use makeups or put on earrings. I was also the only one with her natural hair. I remember one of the sister who attended that conference asked me why I dress differently. I took time to explain to her what the scripture says about God requirements for Christian women to be holy inwardly and outwardly. She told that someone brought Brother Michael Thomas Samba's book on divine revelation of God's judgment to her country and that she has read the book. I told her that Brother Samba's testimony is genuine because that is what the Lord told me. Some of the other attendees joined the discussions, a few agreed to change their ungodly dressing and do away with the fake hair, makeups and jewelry. Unfortunately, during the international delegate's dinner we had with the pastor, 
one of those sister whom I had previously discussed the issue of godly dressing with, decided to ask the man of God about his views on the use of earrings, makeups, hair attachments and trousers. Sadly, the man of God said that there's nothing wrong with making use of these things. He explained that it's legalism to stop women from using makeups, artificial hair, trousers etc. The mild rebuke was met to correct me and put me in my place. I respectfully thank him, but stood my ground that it was the Lord Jesus Christ who told me to stop using those things. Painfully, after that discussion with the man of God, those dear sisters never listened to anything I have to say concerning godly dressing, again. I watched as another sister, one of the delegate began painting their faces one after the other. They were like happiness if the man said this thing is okay, we don't think we can listen to you again. Are you telling us you knew more than this great man of God who is known all over the world? This happened because, the the big man of God said it's not wrong use makeups, fake hair and trousers. This is how many Christians live their lives, follow the big man of God anywhere he goes even if what he believes is completely out of line, scripturally. Just a little push, is what many are waiting for and then they will accept to be chipped. No root at all. They are floating waving like a reed blown by the wind. They are not deeply rooted in the Word of God. Prepare for the great tribulation and ask the Lord to give you grace to stand. This is the reason the Lord said we should ask for His grace. Ask the Lord to give you the grace to reject the vaccine and the refed microchip. Prepare prepare prepare. 1. Stock up on food, durable food. 2. Get a place of refuge where you will hide. 3. Train your children and your wards, to the reality of the severe hardships ahead. 4. Pray for grace to reject the chip, both physically and spiritually. 5. Most importantly, surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ today. And repent from your sins. God bless you. Shalom. Sister Happiness A. Bangby.